and gentlemen, we are live. <laughs> this is the Hangout Series with Wisdom. How are you all doing? Uh, I, I, I miss you all most times when I stay for the whole week. And um, coming back to join you all live uh, um, um, every weekend. Anyways, how, how are you all doing? Uh, how's your week been so far? Especially if... If you are in Bonnie Island, how have you been coping? Ah, it's it's it, it's been a long one. Um, many of you, especially in Bonnie, I know you have done um, <clears throat> you have done uh, twelve days now of the lockdown. Uh, how are you all coping? Um, so worried about every one of you. Um, <clears throat> but my hearts and prayers are with everybody that God will keep everybody um safe sound and, and healthy to see the next day my name is wisdom uh wisdom chap jumbo uh wow i i saw I, I got all your messages all your all your calls in fact i can't thank you all enough for reaching out to me i i hear some of you had a late night meeting yesterday while we all slept um it was a tough one many many of you some of you had a late light meeting while we all slept that's good uh, and i had so many hot burning uh, gist from that late night meeting uh, uh yesterday well uh for for some of us whatever will bring the issues to the front burner uh, uh for me um I'm, I'm fine with that uh what we do we do because we're interested you know to invest and educate our people with, with the right information. So uh, I'm really happy that some of you could reach out to me. All right. Uh, today we are talking, we're having more conversations, um, more conversations. Uh, from, I, I am always happy uh, to have this chat with, with uh, people and with every one of you. Uh, today, very most importantly, uh, we are talking about graduates. What, what exactly is the fate of our graduates, especially uh, in Bonnie Island. Uh, uh, Bonnie graduates, we have had the best of graduates uh, uh, since 1999 to date. How are our graduates doing? What are the issues? What, what is keeping us behind? Uh, how come we've not been able to get forward uh, with many things as regards our graduates? I mean, I, I, I don't have the answers um, to all of the questions. So, because I don't, I have brought a very special guest to the show today. We are talking repositioning Bonnie graduates. Many of you, I'm not sure you are aware uh, um, of uh, uh, the Bonnie Graduate Forum. Are you, are you aware of it? Well, um, I, I also wasn't aware of it until some few years ago. Uh, but I have brought, my guest today is the president of the Bonnie Graduate Forum and will be helping us make sense of some of the issues as regards graduates, jobs, empowerment, and, and what have you. The, the list is endless. Please, your questions and every, uh, every support you can give will be helpful for this conversation. Uh, and one of it is helping to share this video you're watching for more people to connect uh, 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 to us. All right, without much ado, let me bring up my guest. All right, Presido, you're live now. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Wisdom, loud. Uh, all, all right. Uh, first of all, I really want to thank you for your patience, uh, for, for coming on early and waiting for us to go live. I really must give it to you. You are my very first guest who has come so early, waited nicely, and all is well. Great to have you. Great to have you on the show, President. So how's your day thank going? You. It's all good. Fine. All right. So um, today we're having a discussion about Bonnie graduates, uh, most specifically. I, I wish we can have a conversation on graduates entirely in the uh, uh, in the whole river state. Uh, uh, but Bonnie, Bonnie, for me, I'm very passionate about issues that concerns Bonnie, uh, mm. and that is because, aside the fact that I, I am an indigenous, uh, Bonnie is very key to the to the development of Nigeria. Uh, and we contribute so much economically to the growth and the GDP of Nigeria. So that's why I am focusing on Bonnie for this conversation. So 
but but before we dive into that, I, I want to first ask you for for my viewers who are watching. Um, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Who who is our last Samuel Allison? Uh, uh, tell us just something in one minute, two minutes. Uh, a lot about you so just just share with us so people can follow okay um i'm alice in Aliyala somewhere the okay president of the president of bonnie graduate forum i'm a mm -hmm. graduate of uh, mechanical engineer engineering in the river state uh, university of science and technology i okay. spent uh, almost my entire uh, years during my youthful age um mm -hmm. i attended modern primary school as well okay. as National Grammar School before I proceeded to River State University of Science and Technology. I am okay. married with three kids and okay. today I'm, I'm, I'm leading Bonnie Graduate Forum. Oh, Thank you. perfect. Perfect. That's great. That's great. Uh, but, but aside leading the Bonnie Graduate Forum, um, uh, what else again do you do? Okay, I, I am a worker. Okay. I work as uh, an, op uh, an operator. Okay. In a subcontracting company in LNG. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, that's great. Uh, good to have you on the show again. So uh, many would like to know um, uh, what is the Bonnie Graduate Forum? Uh, what is it all about? Uh, because even someone like me, I am, I am a graduate. I'm a graduate of information technology uh, uh, from the Accra Institute of Technology in Ghana. Uh, I'm a graduate, uh, but like many others like me, we just don't know what the Bonnie Graduate is all about. Uh, uh, can you tell us a little about the Bonnie Graduate Forum? Okay, um, Bonnie Graduate Forum as a forum uh, have been in existence for about uh, 25 years today. Uh, yes. I came to meet uh, Bonnie Graduate Forum uh, precisely um, I think that should be around uh, 11 or 10 years ago. So okay. that was when I came to know the body actually existed during uh, um, engineer Iprala Jumbo's uh, tenure when he had uh, an extraordinary conference. As at that time, where we discussed about uh, how can Bonin. Um, okay how can the forum itself take okay. uh, the right position in terms of in terms of uh, academics at least uh, for us to start having some first class uh, graduates coming out so he decided to call uh, he decided to call a show for the general public to come and uh, exercise and discuss way forward so we'll be able to send him back to send back the messages back to our young ones young graduates then Young mm. undergraduates in school, so they will know okay. that aim, aiming high is actually what the current uh, economic uh, situation within the confines of the country is actually mm. being. So that was when I knew about Bonnie Graduate Forum. But still, okay. on that, I think Bonnie Graduate Forum as a forum, uh, mm -hmm. like the motto clearly stated, knowledge for development. It's mm. uh, a group is a group of intellectuals that came together 25 years ago and after seeing that uh, they were a bit uh, left behind following the presence of other multinationals such as SPDC, Shell and uh, LLNG and they decided to come together to speak in one voice. So speaking mm -hmm. in one voice they decided to come together. Then it was headed by Dr. Iguni uh, okay. Dr. Iguni. He was then the leader, the pioneer leader of Bonnie Graduate Forum as at that time. So a lot of things happened that period, but mm. as God could have it today, we are here. This is our 25th mm. year anniversary. So that's Bonnie Graduate Forum for you. It's a forum of intellect. It's a forum where you can find uh, different professionals from different fields of operations. Thank you. Mm. All right, great. So, at what year was that that you knew about the forum? What what year was that? I'm not sure you mentioned. What year was that? Uh, precisely, uh, was it two ten years ago? Within 2010, that was when I knew because then I was still mm. a student, and uh, 
I participated in that program by way of inv invitation. That was when I knew about it. Mm. Okay. Um, um, 2927, I think so, 2927. 292927. Okay, uh, uh, that's great. Uh, uh, you know, uh, when I also heard about the Bonnie Graduates Forum, um, I was thinking, uh, why should we have um, such uh, an important uh, forum like this uh, in Bonnie all these years, 25 years for that matter? Uh, and sometimes we don't even hear the forum um, come out to speak uh, on, on, on issues that relate, you know, to the economic growth. Uh, and development of Bonnie. Uh, we don't see uh, uh, the forum bringing out paper, uh, 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 maybe intellectual paper to say, oh, this is our position on this issue that, that involves uh, or that concerns the economic group of, of the island. This is the, the, our uh, communique on this particular issue. Why, why has that been so for the past 25 years? Okay, I, I cannot really start talking about uh, the past 25 years, but I can actually cite on uh, the present administration for which I head, and I feel that within this uh, stipulated time I have headed the Bonnie Graduate Forum, we've been able to come up with uh, numerous number of uh, statements. We've been able to make certain statements to viewers, to people, so they, they will start and they start having the feel of belonging to the forum. We've been able to showcase that the forum have come to stay. For some time, one way or the other, uh, we've had a time when the forum have been away completely. Uh, we have we have a less interested number of persons willing to pilot the affairs of the forum. But a few years ago, within the last four years or so, my predecessor, who is an um, engineer, Frederick uh, Ezekiel Hart. Uh, mm -hmm. After he emerged as the president, we, he decided to refund the push to reframe the mindset of members of Bonnie Graduate Forum, of which, of mm -hmm. course, I met and uh, I decided to tour in that direction. So, so far, so good Bonnie Graduate Forum today. Today, you can, can gladly tell me that uh, you never knew, but today you are aware on a graduate forum mm. of uh, what we are doing now and that's why mm. people are currently aware that the forum actually existed for 25 years and talking about 25 years we are meant to understand sometimes we want the world to know that there is an existing body such as the Bonny graduate forum which have lasted for over 25 years a child mm. of 25 or 25 if that child it's uh, a woman, even a male. Sometimes you go into marriage, you start living on your own. So mm. at that point, we felt that at this point, we should tell ourselves the simple truth and showcase it to the world, to our esteemed members who one way or the other have benefited mm. from the source, the success of Bonnie Graduate Forum in the past, but have decided to stay away from the progress of the forum to enable mm. the younger ones benefit from it. So that is exactly what we are, what, what we intend, this present administration, what we intend doing was for us to bring back the, 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 the young, the old and the present. Let's bring them mm. back to a round table and let's see how we can push this forum to a greater light. And Interesting. That, that, was, that does not mean that, that will not also stop us from uh, uh, having the traditional institution as well as the government working mm. in synergy with achieving that. But mm. internally among ourselves, I think we have to do it by ourselves because we are a bunch of professionals. Ah, interesting, interesting. Uh, if you're watching, uh, please, viewers, we'll be taking questions. Um, um, uh, we're trying to do our best to ensure we can take calls very soon on the show. Um, um, uh, but we can take your comments. I'll be reading your comments, your questions for the BGF president, and uh, he will be responding accordingly. Uh, but please kindly share the video as you watch it on your page, on different platforms, so that we can have made as many as possible uh, Bonny graduates join the conversation and, and be able to ask their question to the president directly. All right, uh, Mr. President, uh, my, my, first, my next question, let me just move a little, was, you know, the time we could hear a lot about the BGF most recently was when um, the many mysterious um, deaths 
uh, um, started on the island uh, and the BGF led um, the awareness and sort of investigation to get to the root cause of what was happening and what the mysterious killings were uh, on the island. Um, can you share with us a little um, uh, what, what happened during this period? Um, how did your investigation go? Uh, also, if you can confirm, at some point we had we had rumors that you were also arrested because of the um, investigations that was ongoing at that time. If you can please confirm that uh, and just share with us how did that investigation go and the awareness and what were your findings or the BGF findings uh, in that regard? Okay. Thank you very much. Um, regarding the mysterious and numerous number of uh, reoccurrence of death was actually unexplainable. When we set up a team of uh, professionals who went into findings, I was part of them, headed by me as the president because of the cogent need. We, because of the COVID-19, uh, the situation of COVID-19, we are uh, advised to remain indoors. So as a result of that, uh, on our platform, we started discussing more on our platform. So in course of discussing on our platform, we I now discovered that uh, a good number of members of uh, Boni Graduate Forum were actually complaining of uh, loss of taste and smell. And it became very, very important for they were calling that the leadership have to do something, that what is really happening within the confines of the kingdom. So we now said, okay, let's invite some professionals. We called some medical doctors within the confines of the forum. We called some journalists and few other interested members, as well as the executive council, to, um, as part of those delegations that went for that uh, investigation. And we okay. went around all the medical facilities within the confines of Boni. We tried mm. as much as possible to get facts and details on what is actually causing the loss of taste and smell. Uh, smell. Of all okay. we put, all we could gather within that time, all we could gather then was that the the rate of which people are experiencing the loss of taste and smell is of the increase and there is a reflux number of people going to medical facilities such as the chemist as well as mm. the the um, hospitals within both private and the both private and the, the government owned hospitals so at, yeah. that point, at that point some of them even say on a statistic basis unconfirmed that they can mm. record of 50 persons running into that place. So we saw it as a major well, well, what time Around what time was this? Around what, what, what time? Was, was it in, in, in May or June? I think that particular incident happened in, the, I think, most likely in May. I'm not too certain. In okay. May, the first week of May or so, something like okay. that. That was when okay. this particular incident started happening so we went all into right, go the on, and mm. we got all those necessary facts but mm. because we've not been able to ascertain the true cause of the numerous deaths because as i speak mm. to you as at that time all we keep hearing in Bonnie is uh Susu -Susu person is dead and Susu -Susu person is dead and mm. what has caused that death was unconfirmed so Even from your, your findings, from your findings, it was you were not yeah. so sure what, yeah. what it was. The, 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 the announcement we made was there is an unexplainable rate of deaths going okay. on in Bonnie. Unexplainable. So we are not tying it to COVID-19, neither are we mm. tying it with any other health-related matters. But okay. what we are now what we are now letting the general public to know is to be aware that mm. yes numerous countless number of persons are dying we cannot also uh, point it out that this is what is killing the persons so but mm. for your, our own good for your mm. own good that okay. let's adhere to the covid 19 measures you get the point mm. so that okay. was that was actually what we did only created an awareness to members of the body Especially, I was mm. actually addressing my members because I have lots of members in and mm. outside Bonnie. 
You get the point? Okay. So yes. That was why we had to go on air to make that announcement. So everyone will be aware. You talk to the aged ones that please, mm. they should start covering their nose because we cannot really tell what has invaded the kingdom. You get the point? Mm. So that was exactly what really happened there. So we, we are not okay. really pointing. The forum's position was not, uh, we are not pointing it out that it was COVID-19. Where well, a lot of okay. persons had that uh, misconception about uh, Bonnie mm. Graduate Forum, we are the ones who mentioned COVID-19. On our press mm. statements, we never mentioned it was actually COVID-19. But rather, what we were explaining to people is to be conscious of the To be conscious. Uh, just be conscious. So okay. you, have, you have to adhere to all COVID-19 rules, knowing that there is a lingering pandemic crisis mm. within the world. And, and all so of this was before the lockdown. That was before the lockdown. That was before the mm. lockdown. So that right. was actually what really happened. Okay, I interesting. So, we, so we, we many of us heard that because um, some people in government were not happy uh, that the BGF took the lead for some of these investigations. Uh, we we heard that um, uh, there were attacks from government to the BGF and especially your person. And at some point, you were arrested and invited, or you were invited by the police. To the police station and you were kept there for questioning and all of that do you want to clear for us what really happened were you arrested in any way because of this investigation the bgf did okay uh talking about uh arrested or being invited the truth there is that i was invited i was invited to um the nigerian police force okay for i was invited as for so I went there by nine that fateful day, and uh, I stayed there up to up almost uh, till eight at night. But however, I tried to. They were asking me. They want to run an investigation, but on my record, I was stating eleven persons died, and how did I get those numbers and the rest? So, but when I insisted, and he, they were equally requesting that uh, uh, someone brought the report. But however, I tried to know who is the complainant that most likely would have requested for my invitation. But uh, uh, that was kept aside. No one uh, actually revealed that to me. But however, okay. after we finished with the Nigerian police, and uh, when they looked at the whole thing structurally, I wrote a statement there, the reason behind uh, the announcement that we made. But mm. of a truth, of a truth, I cannot really tie it to any agency within okay. the confines of the kingdom uh, okay. that was actually behind the the invitation. But the okay. truth of the matter is that after I was invited by the Nigerian police, and the next mm. day I was also invited by the DSS Bonnie branch, and okay. the same uh, questions and interrogations we are made. We are being okay. asked, so I try to make them understand that the intent behind uh, uh, the publication we made was not to cause uh, chaos mm. within the okay. confines of the kingdom, but rather okay. to for people to be aware of uh, the numerous number of dead because it is not it is not uh, looking mm. friendly. It's not looking friendly. Whether we like okay. it or not, so the truth okay. has to be, had to be told. But since then, though mm. I was told that subsequently I will be invited, uh, okay. the members of uh, Bonnie Graduate Forum, they stood by me all through that particular time, uh, lawyers okay. and the rest, because we have a bunch of lawyers who are standing in for the forum as well. Okay. So we are fully in support of uh, the activities as at that time. So, but I okay. must tell you that it was just a trying time as at that time. But at okay. the end of the day, since, uh, since the complainer was unable to identify himself, I just consider that issue as mm. a baseless one. Thank you. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, thank you so much for having to throw more light on that. So let's move away from all of that to the, to the main conversation. Now, um, uh, 25 years later uh, uh, of the BGF, I know uh, of the Bonnet Graduate Forum, I know you've made some comments before, but I want to ask you, why did you decide to lead the Bonnie Graduate Forum? Okay. Um, ordinarily, like uh, <clears throat> I've been uh, a unionist for 
all through my days during my secondary school, I was actually the deputy senior prefect during my time in secondary school. Uh, okay. And uh, that aside, I keep seeing myself into several opportunities. Even during my days in uh, the university, I have okay. always been an Aluta driven person. So I came out of school and uh, we. I also looked at the state of Boni Graduate Forum and okay. the need for us to come back as a common front to showcase okay. the ability and professionality of the body itself. So that okay. was what actually drive me. And what pains me more is that uh, we are, like our motto says, knowledge for development. We should be able mm. to impact that knowledge back mm. to our younger generations. I was privileged to go to a public school. Mm -hmm. And after then, the level of our education, the system of our education was better at, as at that time. And okay. we also participated into several seminar programs, which are, of course have aided us today. Some leadership mm -hmm. programs and the rest. So all those things were part of the passion I looked at. And I mm -hmm. felt as a person that, I felt in me as a person that I should, uh, I should participate and take up the position of the pre the, the chairman then the position oh. of the chairman lets me lead the body with the help of my executive council to showcase the love i have for the kingdom the love i have for ourselves let me see how i can bring the old the present and let's see how we can work towards achieving more in the future so that was just the okay. idea behind me uh, mm. aspiring to be the chairman of Bonnie Graduate Forum then and mm. currently not the president. Okay. So for how long have you been leading the forum? How long? How many? How, how long have you been leading the forum now? I've been leading the forum um, for two years now. Okay. So, yes. Uh, we, is, is there a tenor? Is there a tenor? That's correct. Okay. We We already have a we already have a plan. We already have a, a mapped out plan, and uh, which of course we are currently, um, if you look at me very, very well, you discover that I'm putting on uh, our 25th year anniversary t-shirts. Okay. Get the point? Yes. So we, we are already on it before the heat of uh, the coronavirus uh, pandemic now came okay. up everything was on timetable to see how we can achieve that and uh, we also have to proceed and set okay. up electoral committee to conduct an election for a new set of persons to come in mm. and continue from where we have stopped you get the mm. point but so you're your executive you have led for two years that's correct okay okay all right great so I i'm going to come um later to um, some of the achievements you you can say you're proud of that you and your team you have achieved but before i do that i want to ask you uh, many graduates uh, don't know about the bgf uh, uh, many graduates are not members of the bgf i mean between 1999 and today 2020 uh, there has been a, a, a massive increase of graduates in bonny in bonny island in bonny kingdom uh, and um, I don't know what the strength of your membership currently is, if you can share that. And I also wanted to share, how can people be members of this forum, graduates specifically? Okay, um, of a truth, a lot of persons like you, Wisdom, yes, uh, who is also a passionate uh, person, personality, to see how we can push the kingdom forward. But you've not been to play your part by being a registered member of the okay. forum first and share with us your ideas and uh, uh, professionalities on how we can make or give the forum a facelift. Okay. So if we decide to have uh, passive members like you are, mm in Bonnet Graduate Forum that will only stay outside to expect miracles from those who are holding the aims of affairs. I think we cannot really get a befitting forum. But okay. 
on all those who are passionate, passionate, the current executive council taught it wise to uh, set up a website where we can uh, gather the database of all our members. What's we the website? Start, uh, we, I'll, I'll come back to that before the end of the program. I will, I will give you details of that website before the okay. end of the program. I'll okay. give you details of uh, the website. But however it is, however it is, we, however it is, we decided to, we decided to set up that particular website so we can okay. have genuinely registered members of Bonnie Graduates Forum. Okay. Genuinely so what, what is what is the process genuinely. for membership? What's the process for membership? Now the process for membership, the process for membership, it's the process for membership is you you must have your NYSC, your NYSC discharge or your NYSC certificate discharged okay. or exempted okay. as the major criteria that you have irrespective mm -hmm. of your grade of graduation you get the point okay. now for, okay. for the website that we have so anywhere in the world you can go and register we've been able to do it digitally for the website we have www.bonnygraduatesforum.org okay www.bonnygraduatesforum mm -hmm. okay, in full forum in full yeah bonnie yes. graduates you add s to the graduates okay forum. bonnie graduates forum yes, can, org. yes that's correct okay you can you can type it to display it okay as well okay let me okay. let me help you on the put it. no go on go on no problem go on okay so that is it so when you get to that place you will see everything the history about the forum you see the mm -hmm. history about the forum. You will see uh, the past leaders of the forum, the their year of tenorship. You've been able, you'll be able to see uh, being a member, and you also have a chat room on that particular aspect. Now, the idea behind it is that uh, for a very long time, anytime we have a job opportunity, what we mm -hmm. do is we come to our platforms to request for. A mechanical engineer, a civil engineer, mm. a civil engineer, and whoever mm. to send in their CV. But at this point now, we've decided that's correct. That's the that's the website. So, but this time now, we've decided that no, we will no longer do all those things. Send in your CVs. So when the opportunity comes, we'll just go through a database, type the field of operation, the demand, mm. Mm. type the field of operation. We will see lots of CVs displayed on that particular field. And we will have to send the number of persons they require. And we will notify you that your name has been shortlisted for so, -so, -so company and so, -so, -so mm. positions. So that mm. is what this present administration has been able to okay. put in place. So if anybody goes to bonnygraduateforum.org now, the person can yes. easily see the criteria of being a member of the forum, what you need to bring forward. And there's a form that anybody can fill from the website to become a member. That's right? correct. When okay. you go to, when, hold on, let me just add to it. Okay. Constitutionally, following the review of our constitution, we okay. have an annual subscription fee of a thousand naira, a developmental annual subscription fee of a thousand naira, and the okay. registration fee of a thousand naira, making it okay. two thousand naira. So, in cause of your first line of registration, after you're done okay. with your first line of registration, then okay. you make payments before the admin will approve you. Is the when payment made? Is the payment made on the website? The payment is made through the forum's account on the website, displayed on the website. So once okay. it's, once that is done, then the admin okay. will immediately approve you. Then you can proceed okay. with other registration format. Okay, how long, how long will this take? How long will all this process take? The, the, the process might take you less than 10 minutes, depending on okay. how fast your, your network can be. 
or how you can provide uh, uh, relevant documents to that effect. Okay, okay. All right, great. Uh, 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 that's a good one. Uh, if you're watching, you can be a member of the forum by simply going to the website you can see on your screen, www.bonnygraduatesforum.org, and you can have all the information you want about the forum and also how to become a member if and only you are a certified graduate and you have finished your NYC or exempted by NYC uh, uh, for, for serving the, the nation. All right, so the, the next question uh, most people want to hear from you, why should I be a member of this forum? Uh, and I want you to also answer that alongside uh, telling us some of your achievements uh, because people want to, people are interested to know. Uh, so far for the last two years, you've been, you have been leading the forum. What are some of your achievements? Uh, I, I want you to share that vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, telling people why they should become a, a member of the Bonnie Graduate Forum. I know a lot of Bonnie graduates are listening now, and we have up to 50 persons or even more watching, uh, as you're saying. So they would like to hear from you. Why should I be a member of BGF? Okay, as a true son of Bonnie Kingdom, so long as you have gone through the four worlds of a university and with the vast uh opportunities surrounding the confines of bonnie kingdom mm. it is important as a graduate to associate with your peers on how to develop the kingdom how we can come back and give back to the kingdom it does not necessarily mean what you tend to achieve from the forum it is what you as an individual have decided to bring to the table using the body as a, a richer point to the less privileged to, to the less privileged to encourage the younger generations to see the reasons or the essence of going to school now that okay. aside that aside outside develop outside employment opportunities which of course a lot of persons who are members of the forum or who have an intention to be members of the forum will be glamoring for. We're also working on that. And that was what led to the creation of that website. Why? Okay. Because we want to see how we can build human capacity development by way of gaining, giving most of our members and to be employable as well as uh, to be gainfully employed. And when that is done, we can freely among ourselves see to the needs of the forum as well as the less privilege within the confines of the kingdom. Okay. We came into power with, uh, with little or no, nothing to write home about. Because the forum uh, in, in, in the past was, we, we, we are trying to like see how we can make it, let it not be business as usual. Want to, okay. want to see how we can make it a collective one. It's going to be an all-inclusive uh, uh, forum going forward, outside, whether I'm there or not. It's going to be an all-inclusive forum. So okay. that was why we decided to make a noise about the forum. Like, it, it, it might shock you to know that when we came on board, we do not even have... Uh, some minor items that we should, some minor items that I feel we should have, such as uh, a bank account for the forum, such okay. as uh, regist registration of the forum as a legal entity, such okay. as creation of website, uh, such as uh, modalities on how members will be uh, and constantly going into training programs, uh, such okay. as how we can equally ensure that our members are employable and are gainfully employed from time to time. And okay. uh, probably most times to also organize our national convention, as well as organize free extramural classes for our younger ones, especially those in the secondary school uh, oh. section. Let's give them the sense of belonging to mm. continue or focus more on their education pursuit. So talking about the achievements we've been able to achieve, Okay. Uh, first, first, we started with a forum without 
the creation of an account. So we, we took it by uh, the horn and we decided to create a, we create an account. Currently, okay. now the forum is, is banking with Access Bank, Access okay. Bank uh, Bonnie Branch. And as I speak to you, we've been able to make the forum a legal entity, fully okay. registered at the CAC. The intent is to bring both the young and the old together. And let's see, a lot of persons have benefited from this forum. Some persons are even abroad using the platform to be gainfully employed or satisfied with what they have achieved in life. But today, okay. they are not talking about the forum or the well-being of the younger ones coming up and coming up. But what we intend to do is that 25 years is enough for us to have grandmasters within the confines of the forum to okay. show us light, to show the younger ones the light so they can follow suit. When they follow that direction, I okay. must tell you that the, the lack of job opportunities that we've been experiencing within the confines of the kingdom, that oh. will be completely reduced or eradicated completely. So mm. we also thought of, yes, we want to send, uh, and this complaint have called, the LGA chairman can equally call that you should send uh, a mechanical engineer and the rest will start running Helter, Skelter and the rest to search for members. We also decided that no, let's not go into that. Let's create a website. The only way we can get that is to gather the database of uh, the entire members. And that's what we came up with. Good thing today, we have a, a well-designed uh, website that you can stay anywhere in the world, abroad anywhere, and you get mm. yourself registered. You get the point? Then yes. outside that, we can boastfully say that we can boastfully say that during our administration, we've been able to we've been able to see some of our members being trained in a in, in a training that that was over six million naira per per individual. About five members mm. participated in that. The, and the BGF funded this. No, no, in partnership, that is in 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 partnership in this in negotiation with a particular company called the Fat Prime okay. then as part of their corporate social mm. responsibility through our administration. Okay. We can possibly say that we also have at least five of our members who benefited from there. These are little little benefits that I feel being a member who you will have an advantage of achieving that. A lot of persons who actually wanted that. I did not also know that there is a process in achieving that. One of the okay. number one criteria of being uh, was being a, a, a member of the forum before you can achieve that particular one. And as I speak to you, we have a good number of them after that particular uh, program mm -hmm. who are currently uh, uh, permanently working with that particular firm. And as I speak mm -hmm. to you as well, their CVs mm -hmm. have elevated we have other employment uh, opportunities that i may not want to mention numerous number of uh, persons. okay okay so uh, uh um let me butt in there uh, uh let's talk about the employment and jobs opportunity i mean as a graduate um uh, one thing that will interest me most is after all the hustle and bustle in school uh, uh what is next for me how do i get jobs and coming from an oil and gas rich nation, uh, rich community rather, um, people will say, oh, so there should be a lot of jobs uh, uh, for you as a graduate. I, I know I got that comment a lot after I finished school some years back. And when I was trying to look for jobs somewhere else, other places across the world, uh, people keep saying, but you, are, you come from an oil and gas rich community, there should be a lot of jobs. So I, I thought it would be taking question and somebody just asked the question I had in mind. So let me just read the person's question too. And if you're watching viewers, uh, um, you can you can also ask questions uh, uh, to the president. I'll be reading your questions from the comment section. I will can, we'll take as much as possible, many questions uh, 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 as time permits us. So, and also to support us, please, you can share the video across many platforms for other people to join in the conversation. Uh, we appreciate that a lot. So Mr. President, the question on that job employment, someone is asking, is, the person's name is Amonia Ima. The person is asking, um, what is the synergy between the BGF and the Boni Integrated Recruitment Center? And what is the possibility that the BGF 
will be recognized and given its rights. Okay, on that, on that particular aspect, I think uh, it's part of our push to see how we can. Uh, first, we have to thank uh, the traditional institution as well as the local government council. That is the government itself for thinking in in the right direction why setting up uh, the biroc okay so but from our own part as the the graduates of bonnie kingdom who felt they can add more to it if uh, the non-indigenous can have a representatives non-indigenous who uh, can have a representative in the biroc and if non-indigenous who can have who are can have representatives in the biroc who will leave the kingdom to develop their own respective kingdom and when job opportunity comes you see them they also have their own personal quotas they grab to develop their own um, places but for we as graduates we uh, we felt uh, a bit uh, marginalized on that part so we uh, we are trying as much as possible to meet with the traditional institution as well as the government let's work in synergy if non-indigenous can have a rep why can't we have uh, a, a graduate rep in the biroc let's note okay. that the biroc uh, uh, when it was formed was basically looking at some skilled jobs semi-skilled mm -hmm. jobs and the rest not mainly professional jobs you get the point uh, but okay. today not mainly professional jobs but however they can integrate on that. They can improve on the BIROC. Have Let's you had this see, conversation with the BIROC before on improvement? We, we've, we've had numerous uh, discussion with the BIROC, even with the then uh, chairman, uh, uh, Mayor Ala Diokuma, who was the past uh, chairman, who also promised to see how he can uh, integrate the forum completely to see certain uh, employment opportunities when they come. But however, okay. I'm not talking about the skill jobs, I'm talking about the professional aspect of it. Sometimes when you have, uh, and let's let not also forget that we cannot tie all our knots to the multinationals. We also have mm. some government uh, agencies within the confines mm. of Bonnie Kingdom, mm. such mm. as the Federal Oil and Gas Polytechnic, General okay. Hospitals and the where we also need some of our members to channel their energies down to those aspects. So, those so what, you're, what you're letting us know now is there's, there's a synergy that exists between the BGF and the BRRC, and then the BGF has a representative uh, in the BRRC. Is that correct? Of a truth, of a truth, we, we have a discussion plan. Okay. And we are yet to get an official representative, especially when I mean an official representative means okay. when uh, uh, um, a body is being set up, inaugurated, mm. from okay. that very day, the Bonnie Graduate Forum is being represented there as a graduate rep, get the point, to okay. help checkmate the activities uh, or protect the interests of employment when it, 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 it has to do with graduates mm. in Bonnie Kingdom. Okay. So if okay. the kingdom, the, 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 the local government council and the traditional ins institution can hear to our to, to our, our aid and decide to add us into the recruitment process. So at mm -hmm. the end of the day, some of these multinationals, some of these companies, when they come, some of them come with uh, storekeepers, some of them come with uh, um, what, uh, some of them cleaner. come with cleaner. Uh, no, no, I'm not talking about cleaner now because the cleaners mm. and the, some of the uh, semi-skilled jobs are meant mm. for uh, uh, the BIROC. But however, okay. professional entities like an accountant and the rest, some okay. some key positions uh, within the, mm. the confines of a particular company when they come into mm. town also, uh, we find out that a lot of graduates are being denied because uh, sometimes the BIROC focuses more on the scaffold, the semi-skilled jobs. But mm. we want to change that narrative. They should stop thinking mm. directly on semi-skilled. Let's look okay. at the, 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 the main job. 
Okay. Let's look at when they come, let them also know that we have professional bodies within the confines of the Oni Graduate Forum who can also give you what you need, if not even better. Let's okay. put us to test. The truth there is that in uh, irrespective of the fact that assistants now we are privileged to be coming from a community such as Bonnie, okay. a, a, a multinational such as Share Mobile and uh, Tuta, I, I think I expect at some point we do not need much uh, level of uh, um, experience to be admitted into any job opportunity. But this time, right. I'm not saying, but this yeah. time around, mm -hmm. we are not mm -hmm. saying that, but this time around, we are not saying that, we are not just saying that we should just be taken. But however, mm -hmm. to test with those ones you're also coming with, let's compete mm -hmm. with them. I bet you, we have a lot of professionals within the confines of Bonnie who are more experienced. If LLNG mm -hmm. can stay in Bonnie for mm -hmm. 30 years, they celebrated their 30 years and 20 years of production. That is a whole lot of time for any graduate within the confines of Bonnie to gather mm. high level of experience within the confines All right. of the kingdom. So my, my, my next question now will go, uh, um, because Train 7 is here, I, I won't say Train 7 is coming, because Train 7 is here already, and, and the, kick, the kickoff of that project is already here, so let's not even say it is coming, it is here already. Uh, 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 jobs for graduates is a very big concern. I know many graduates listening to this now, uh, uh, we find this question very important for them. G jobs for graduates is a key concern. Uh, with what you're saying uh, and the conversations you're having, uh, uh, as we go into train seven, uh, are you concerned really? Uh, uh, and what other measures are you putting in place to ensure that you secure jobs for graduates uh, uh, of the forum who are registered members? Okay, first of all, I must say that uh, that's why we are trying to synergize with other interest groups to see okay. how we can uh, develop our people. We've advised our members to develop themselves, human capacity development, develop yourself. Since the forum is not uh, uh, wealthy enough to manage their funds while developing okay. themselves. But on our own part, like during this uh, pandemic, uh, we also decided to come up with uh, a Zoom training we are will talk about uh, behavioral safety. Uh, now, the, the idea behind that behavioral safety is to work on our attitude. And that program will be coming up live on Zoom by 11th of uh, uh, this month, to be coming up live on Zoom by 11th of this month. So we expect all graduates of Bonny Kingdom to participate in that program. That will help okay. you have the right mental state to work. And what we are doing is that since Train 7 is coming, since train seven is actually coming to play, mm. we want to have the right minded kind of persons. So when you have the opportunity, because a lot of us lost it out in the past, we lost okay. it out in the past, following the fact that we are managing a particular uh, institution or a particular position. The moment we have a bigger offer that pays better, not with not considering the the duration, we tend to leave the one we are. And you find out that a non-indigenous will go back there and remain in that particular position. And when he remains there, he grows up to the manager position. I will come mm. back knowing that we are supposed to be the one that is supposed to be there. And at the end of the day, the other one who has moved to the next job have actually ended his uh, uh, voluminous uh, big money that has been paid to him or so. So what so we are, are you, trying to do? What we are, are you doing positive? Now, are you positive for jobs for Bonny graduate? That's very correct. As I speak to you, we are. As I speak to you, we are having a strong tabs with uh, uh, the health, safety, and environmental uh, agency within the LLNG, the confines of the LLNG, to see how they can work on our members to keep them fit and sound when it comes to uh, a good work and practice, as well as uh, our behaviors in terms of safety at work. So majorly, I can tell you that we have lots of experienced members who are on ground, willing to participate in the Nigerian LLNG program and projects and beyond. They can stand in anywhere in the okay. world. Okay, okay, great. Like I said before, uh, many of the graduates watching uh, and are very interested about this. 
uh, and and in fact, it, it, why be a graduate from Bonnie if I cannot get a job? And why be a member of the BGF if the BGF, that's the Bonnie Graduate Forum, cannot lobby and get jobs for its members? Before I ask my next question, um, what is the membership strength of the Bonnie Graduate Forum now as we speak? Do you have any idea? Um, if we are talking about passive members, we have over it. No, registered. Um, registered members but currently because of the introduction of uh, the online registration we mm. decided to we decided to keep all uh, handy registrations physical registration mm. that was done in the past we decided to mm. keep, keep it aside so you can from time to time uh, update your cvs as well so currently now as i speak to you we are running over 200 registered members and this thing happened within a space of two months from when the the site was being launched so mm. that's that's to tell you how interested people within the confines of bonnie are willing to hide okay okay great so uh, on issue of the of the website, um, I, as I was as you mentioned the website, I also went to look at the website from my end. It's the first time I'm seeing the website, so I went to look at it. Uh, a great great website I see there. Uh, but someone is also sharing my concern with me on the comment session. So let me read the comment and a question a question for you. I think so. So uh, Pepo Medlin Toyen, she said, just checked out uh, um, the website. Um, the website is 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 too basic. For a graduate forum and it is not secure meaning information on the database is prone to threat um as as an as me is a, a, a professional information technologist i i buy into my consent because i can see from the website it is looking like it is not secure and meaning that if we put our information on there uh, data privacy is a very big concern uh, especially in this year 2020 uh, I don't know if you have comments uh, as regards this concern that this person is sharing from the comment session. Okay, I, I, I didn't get you. I think the network was actually breaking. Okay. I, I was saying that just like me, someone has looked up the website and the person is sharing a concern um, just like me also. And she said, her name is Purple Medlin Toy. She said, just checked it out. That's the website. The website is too basic for a graduate forum and it is not secure meaning meaning information on the database is prone to threats if you can hear me I, i'm saying also i can confirm this because uh, uh the website i can see there's a sign showing there saying that it is not secure mr president can you hear me i can hear you all right do you want to give a comment on that uh, about securing and private data privacy of people that will go on this website. Okay, um, though I didn't get you clearly because of the network, but however, I think you're talking about the security of the website. Yes, security of the website and the data that will be shared on the website. Yes, on it. Okay, as I speak to you, as I speak to you, we still have a team of uh, uh, engineers still working on that website as you see there that's not the final stage we expect the website to be we okay. intend to develop it once it is up to that standard the 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 team of We are aware of all those concerns as I speak to you. Those concerns being raised, we are aware of it, and we've also communicated the. Mr. So President, can I, okay, you, if I can hear you clearly, you said you are aware of this concern on the security issue and data privacy issue on the website, and your team is working on it. Is that what you said? That's correct. All right, all right, great. Okay, so um, uh, again, uh, if viewers, if you are watching, I will keep taking your questions as they come in, and mm -hmm. and uh, um, we will make sure to take as much uh, question as possible uh, uh, um, as we as we can. Okay, so another concern again, especially when groups come in, uh, come up in, in Bonnie like this, Mr. President, if you can hear me, 
uh, um, is the is the issue of um, the genuine um, intent of the group. Uh, um, uh, so I want to ask you, just like people have lost so much hope um, in the BYF, and we are hoping that the BYF, that the Bonny Youth Federation, we meet its um, 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 aim and objective. I want to ask you, what, what is your relationship um, with the BYF? Uh, and um, if you can also, in extension, tell us, there's, there are rumors on the background that um, um, the BGF was given a contract to renovate, a uh, uh, yes, to renovate primary school chairs. Uh, if you can comment on this, if it is true, and your relationship with the BYF. If you can do this for me in, in two, three minutes, I'll be very happy. Okay. Um, uh, for the which of the one for which one are you talking about first? Please come back with the message. Okay. First question: What is your relationship so far with the BYF? That's the Bunny Youth Federation. Okay. Are you working okay. together? What's your relationship? Because people are people are concerned. Um, uh, what is the the intent of the BGF? Because just like the BYF, we have lost people have lost hope. And we are hoping that the BYF will live, will live up to his uh, expectations and objectives. So I'm asking you, what is your relationship with the BYF and how has that been going so far? Okay, uh, for for now, before now, let's say uh, within the last uh, administration of the Bonny Youth Federation, I think uh, we had uh, a little log ahead as a result of uh, the misunderstanding, misunderstanding of the two bodies because uh, for me as the president of Bonny Graduate Forum, I am a youth and uh, by virtue of being a youth, I am mm. also uh, a member of uh, the Bonny Youth Federation, which of course has given the youth leader uh, the right over me when it comes to youth, youth matters. And mm. the same lies on the uh, is also uh, subjected to the Bonnie Graduates Forum. So we okay. run and we run a separate activities because we are not youth body. You get okay. it? But however, okay. because we are from the same kingdom, we can decide mm. one way or the other, we, mm. we, we, we can come to synergize in achieving a particular goal. You get okay. So okay. My relationship then with them was a kind of uh, rough as a result of uh, their quest, as a result of their quest to make the forum a chapter. So, which of course I stood firmly and I told them that no, uh, if you do not understand properly, I should be able to put you in the right direction, which of course I did. And uh, even the traditional institution. Uh, the traditional institution, the Title Citizens Assembly, also uh, came into the problem and decided to manage the situation for us. It wasn't an easy one, however, because we decided to engage some legal practitioners within the confines of the forum to manage the legality of, of that, of that what was going on at that time. Okay. Are you there, Mr. President? Oh. That's correct. As God could have it, that particular issue was settled. But however, with the present uh, caretaker committee, I think a uh, lot of the issue that happened in the past also we've been able to get a good working relationship. Mm. Okay. Together. Okay. How we intend to synergize together as mm. Now, as individual bodies, let's see how we can synergize because mm. we cannot have the graduate forum uh, trying to be superior over the Bonnie Youth Federation. The Bonnie Youth Federation is a youth in, uh, that comprises of all youth, irrespective of your, your level mm. of qualification. Why that of the Bonnie Graduate Forum is that it, it does not have an age limit which includes okay. even the title citizens who are also registered members can also be called mm. members of the graduate forum. So you can't subject a forum of such magnitude to be okay. a chapter 
under the youth federation so that is that okay. and that uh, okay. and the second one is the second one you are asking about the uh, desk oh yeah yeah so there's a question here and it's the mm. question from the comment section is um mr president is it true that the local government gave the Bonnie Graduate Forum contract to renovate primary school chairs. Is that correct? Now, that's not true. What there is that, uh, what happened was that the when the incident of uh, We are children, we are sitting on bare floors and the rest. And the LGA chairman, in his wisdom, saw the need to get, and we also decided to communicate him. He sees the need to get those things fixed. On that occasion, we discussed about how that particular desk can be provided. So on the personal ground, he now informed me that on a personal ground, I should make an inquiry about the desk. You get the point? Mm -hmm. It's not like it was the forum that was asked to do that. You get the point? On a personal okay. ground, please do the inquiry. And I told him and gave him all the information. And as I speak to you, uh, it is not the forum that uh, participated in production of decks. The forum, Bonnie Graduate Forum as a forum, never participated in the production. All the all the renovation of the decks. You never participated. Uh, hello, Mr. President. Can you hear can me? You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so what you're saying is um you only get that information and give to the chairman, but the BGF forum never participated in any project or had any contract to renovate any chair for any primary school. Is that correct? We, we as a forum, we never mm. had any contract to provide chairs for uh, any school. But however, on personal ground, that mm. personal ground, the LDA chairman might meet one or two persons whom he feels can manage his situation. And are you aware he met any? Are you aware he met anybody like that in the forum? That I don't know. Okay, and you yourself, as a person, on your personal note, aside the BGF, you are not in charge of any contract such as this with the LGA. I am not, as I speak to you. On okay. Uh, I am not in charge of any contract on production of decks. All right, all right, great, great, great. Thank you. you could uh, make a clarification on that. So someone is asking another question again. Um, in Banengo, Michael, your question is very lengthy. I can see it. Uh, but in summary, I think he's trying to ask, uh, Mr. President, what what I what is the BGF doing as regards securing um, trainee trainee jobs or IT jobs for our undergraduates? Uh, is the forum doing anything in this area so to secure what uh, trainee or um it jobs for our undergraduates for bunny undergraduates is it is the forum doing anything in this regard to help them secure trainee jobs or trainee slots or it slots okay now let coming coming to that i think uh, this is where the kingdom uh the kingdom the government as well as the Bonnie Graduate Forum can synergize together. You get the point? Can synergize together in achieving that particular goal. Now, okay. also looking at uh, postgraduate scholarship program scheme, which okay. of course we felt that uh, uh, if the kingdom can have a, a, a discussion with the multinationals, we have up to three multinationals in. Okay. They should engage Bonnie on scholarship scheme. They should engage mm -hmm. Bonnie graduates on scholarship schemes. Then let's say a ratio of 10 per, per year. 
and the number of years they have spent, you can imagine the number of persons that will have that uh, uh, postgraduate scholarship scheme. We also looked at how we can equally uh, and get, because of the numerous uh, number of uh, requests for graduate uh, for uh, our graduates to be experienced, we now looked at graduate work experience program. Now on graduate work experience program web, now we looked at that particular program. If the traditional as well as the local government council can look at it, because lack of job experience have been a major factor being used by the multinationals to 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 neglect our graduates from gainfully employed. But we can synergize the same way the it, education. Talking about, the same way, talking about uh, sorry sorry for me to butt in. Uh, Talking about synergizing, do you have um, um, any relationship with the National Union of Bonnie Students uh, so that you can you can also, in a way, integrate together to, to help in this regard? Do you have any that, of that synergy? I think at some point when um, the leadership of uh, the National Union of Bonnie Students, and uh, my doors are always open for them to come in, and the areas I can advise, I do. But particularly, the essence of uh, Bonny Graduate Forum is to see to some of their challenges, especially within the ones within our confines, okay. the ones we can manage personally. We can. So, you're following the question you asked: What plan do we have on okay. uh, the issue of training? The initial okay. question you asked: now, What okay. plan do we have on the uh, the issue of training? So, the plan, most of the the. The, the, the major plan that we have was that one, if the, the traditional institution as well as the government can synergize with the forum and set okay. up an institute called Graduate Work Experience Program, that mm -hmm. will help because of the numerous number of graduates that are passing out from N NYSC on daily basis, on yearly basis. Now okay. we get we get over a hundred graduates that are coming out with no experience. But by the time mm -hmm. this particular institution is being created, like uh, that of the education endowment fund, where money are being uh, invested into that particular fund to ensure that our undergraduates are, are, are doing well in their respective to in their respective schools. So if mm -hmm. that same thing can be done within the kingdom, and let's see how we can train our undergraduate because the forum at Seho, as I speak to you, is a non-profitable forum, is a forum that we run with our personal resources to ensure that we develop the kingdom. You get the point? We see how okay. we can assist ourselves and the rest. So if that particular, if we put to play, then I must tell you that within the next number of years, if we are having a training of graduates on yearly basis of over counting over 100, in five years mm. time, we should be talking about 500 capacity view uh, 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 graduates who are experienced mm. enough to manage, who are experienced enough to manage uh, uh, any facility in the world. So that's- All right. Um, All right, um, uh, Mr. President, thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if you can still hear me. Eight of the Bonnie Graduates Forum. They okay. can come oh. to the aid of the Bonnie. They can come to the aid of the Bonnie Graduates Forum to see to our aid and set up programs that will benefit the graduates directly. Okay. Not just overlooking the fact that they are graduates and they are they are on their own. They also need that little support to ensure okay. that uh, their experience level is increased. All right, all right. Um, 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 thank you, Mr. President. It's been an enlightening uh, session for me and everybody learning so much what the BGF, the Bonnie Graduate Forum, has been doing. Uh, for me, I mean, like I said before, between 1999 and now, we have had a lot of graduates. In fact, we have had the best graduates. One of our one of our Bonnie sons was the first first class student from um, um, the, the uh, River State University Mass Communication Department for the first time since the school was, was ever, uh, the department was ever established. That, I think that's a big one. And we are getting every day more graduate, qualified graduates. And I mean, there's no, there's no field if we want anybody person to feel now that we cannot get one. 
I think Bonnie people are, are, they are they have filled that gap so much as regards who is qualified and who who is a graduate uh, uh, to take up any professional skill job uh, uh, um, so far. So someone is asking my last question before I let you go. Uh, someone is asking what would the president say? This is Rose Philip uh, uh, is asking what would the president say is the biggest challenge of the BGF since times are hard. If I get that's what you want to, or in a nutshell, what are the challenges currently you will say, you will say uh, 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 the BGF is currently having? Just do this for me in one minute. Okay, I think the major challenges the Bonnie Graduates Forum is having. Mm. One, the major challenge is uh, we've not been able to get the synergy between the traditional institution. Okay trying to get that of the government but okay. however the government is trying on their part but we are special grace of god we will okay. be having uh, a good working relationship in terms of synergy with the traditional okay. institution okay that will give the forum the desired push so when that is achieved mm -hmm. okay to be our starting point okay so the synergy between traditional institution and the forum is one of your biggest challenge right now that's correct all right is funding not a challenge i know you do a lot of things how are you managing with funding i know you mentioned there was no account before so where was the monies uh, you were raising going to since there was no account before now that you have account how much is there how are you raising money in one minute Okay, uh, for funds, like I said, we we do not tie ourselves completely to uh, multinationals or we write to we can write to agencies, the government, and a few individuals who are doing well, graduate members who are doing well okay. within the confines of the kingdom. We we'll write to them, and when. We Hello, Mr. President, are you there? Can you hear Hello? me? Okay, I can I can hear you now. You went off there a bit. Okay, go on okay. now, I can hear you. I said internally, talking about how we raise internally, like when we started uh, in our early stage in the, the forum, we started running contributions among the executive council to see how we can build it to a reasonable extent before few individuals also see the need to join us when they started seeing the sincerity within the confines of the, the mm. executive council so you get the point so internally within the confines of the forum we have mm -hmm. great personalities who are willing to support okay. the forum to eat greater heights so long as it's the channel to reach out to the less privileged. Just okay. to add to it, just on the eleventh of uh, uh, last month, we gave okay. out over we gave out over three hundred thousand to non-working graduate members of Boni Graduate Forum as palliative, mm -hmm. as relief, cash relief uh, palliative. To how did you get a fund? How did you get a fund for that? It was contributed among well-meaning graduates within the confines of the forum. So we raise, we raise okay um mr president are you there uh, okay you raise money you raise this money among, from within within among ourselves as members as registered members as passive okay. members raise this okay resources. all right all right all right thank you so much uh, i really must appreciate you for coming on this on this session uh, um, um a lot and a lot has been shared trust me and a lot of people will watch this playback or, or a replay of this video uh, and there will be so much information that you have you have passed to many bunny graduates uh, 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 today that you you don't even know um all right so what is next for you and and uh, what is next for you uh, after now as you pre as you are i believe you are preparing to leave as president of the bgf um do you want to share just Another one minute, what is left for you or in 30 seconds because I should end the show very soon. 
Okay, what is left for me now is that uh, the moment we have an ease on the lockdown, right now we are trying to see how we just introduce the And most likely, uh, hello. Program is what is remain. Okay, the network is is beginning to drag us. Mr. President, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, all right. Yeah, you went off there. You were so just conclude your statement. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Hello, Wisdom. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. The network from your end is, is giving us issues, but I can hear you now. Okay, what is left now is we have an unfinished business with our 25th anniversary, which of okay. course individuals have made the uh, uh, funds available to achieve that the success of that particular program, which we intend to achieve. And the moment that is done is just because of the pandemic uh, uh, situation. So okay. that is why. And mm -hmm. after that, oh, okay, okay. All right, great. I, I have to let you go now. More questions are now coming in. Come on, guys. You should have sent your question a long time ago. Uh, we are we are ending the show. But uh, just for your information, uh, Sophie Hart is saying on the comment session, I have filled registration form online. Uh, didn't see any account information. What's next? Uh, so I think uh, you you should get your team to look at the website again and be sure that every process is checked properly someone just filled the form a uh, registration form on the website and is saying that she didn't see the account information you mentioned to pay in the necessary levies her name is sophie hart uh, another question is coming again uh, what is the role of the bot and relationship between the bot and executive i mean um uh, Claxing hart is asking that question but mr president we are out of time I believe all those information will be available on the BGF website. And I sincerely want to thank you for your time on the show. You have been very helpful. This has been very informative for me personally. And um, I will be doing my own due diligence to also go on the website after now to register uh, uh, to become a full member. I mean, there is so much we can bring to the table. Um, I'm expect Just us, I can see you on the comment session. Please also go and register so that you can be a member of the BGF uh, uh, session. So we, we can all bring our ideas and see how uh, Bonny graduates can um, also stimulate a lot of conversation uh, um, uh, to see how we can contribute our best to the economic development of Bonny Kingdom at large. Mr. President, Aoyala Samuel Allison, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. All thank right. Have a, have a fine evening. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much. Um, it's been a very, very great session. All of you uh, um, um, have been very, very contributive to this. Uh, I mean, I, I, I may not have a night studio to call you all out at night for a session, uh, but we are growing the studio, and I hope we can be able to take some of your calls very soon. Uh, 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 um, I know calling is a very good way to express to express your opinion uh, uh, um, all the time, but we are getting there gradually with your support. We can be able to grow uh, um, this very small studio uh, to accommodate a lot. Um, I know a lot of you were awake last night. You had a meeting last night for over four hours last night. Um, that was great. Uh, whatever we can do to bring out the conversation to the front for the front line i am happy with it uh, and for me it gives me joy join me tomorrow um, um at 12 noon join me tomorrow at 12 noon i talked about the issue of pure water and the hike in pure water sales uh, um, in the island just this afternoon um, i was very worried and disturbed in my spirit when i got a call 
um, that uh, uh, so, some people are buying pure water at a high rate of 500 Naira. Um, some are buying at 400, while some are buying at, at, at 300. I mean, water is the most essential commodity uh, right now while Bonnie is in lockdown uh, um, or anywhere else. Um, I mean, why should that be, pure water should be sold at such an, or, 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 a, a, a disturbing rate for Bonnie people? Join me tomorrow, 12 noon. I have the managing director of Urim Water tomorrow at 12 noon to throw more light on what is happening and how Bonny people can access affordable and, 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 and cheap uh, portable water, which is a pure water, especially in a time like this. Tomorrow, 12 noon, with the CEO, Dagogo Brown, uh, uh, managing director of Urim Water. I mean, this is why we have the Hangout series. Tomorrow, hang out with me. It's going to be an interesting conversation. Once again, I want to thank everybody for this show. Um, um, my name is Wisdom Chap Jumbo, and this is the Hangout series. We'll continue to bring the conversation to your ears and to your eyes. Thank you very much. Until we meet again uh, tomorrow.